Hi guys, this is Sir Leon again. Bugum bata, pataras number one. Let's go, sa sa bay kaba. So sorry guys, ngayon lang ulit na pag-upload ng video kasi nakasakit ako. So ngayon lang ako nakagawa ulit ng video. And I'm in top rank baggy right now. So malamig-lamig guys. And my topic for this video would be infection control. So first and foremost guys, we will teach you, I will teach you rather, how to use a mask. Kasi guys, nagkaroon na ng maraming away dito. So paano ba gumamit ng mask? So guys, this is a mask. So yung mask na kuha ko is pink. This is the color pink outside and my white side naman dito sa inner part. So ano bang purpose nito? Yung white ay yung color part ng mask. The color part guys is most likely water resistant. So therefore guys, uh, water resistant so it's better for you to use it outside. Okay? On the other hand, this white part is absorbent. So again, the color part, which is pink in my case, is water resistant. On the other hand, this is absorbent. So it's better for you to use a mask wherein the color is outside and the white is inside. So just remember, color out, white in. So remember that one. Kasi nga, para it would prevent you from infections. Okay? Specifically right now, we have the novel coronavirus right now and masks are really important right now. So therefore, we have a metal strip here to be adjusted in your nose. Most importantly guys, away from the color that you will use, it's important for you to cover specifically your nose and your mouth so that you will be prevented from infections. Okay? So therefore, this is your, uh, this is your rubber strap, straps here. So adjust, adjust natin the nose bridge part so that it will significantly cover your nose and your mouth. It's better for you so that you will check it here that the uh, significant air will come in so it will protect you against infection. And it's better for you to wear the straps here like this. Don't cross it because guys, if you would cross it, it will make creases here. And if there's creases, there's a possibility that you will get infection. So therefore guys, no stylish whatever, just straight up use it properly covering your nose and mouth. So that's it. So side video lang, so say a lot would be asking uh, how to use a mask. So that's it. So therefore guys, here we'll be discussing infection control. So the question goes like this, what's the priority nursing management to prevent the transmission of HIV? So if we're talking about HIV, guys, remember, if you're preventing HIV, you have to ask yourself, how is it transferred? HIV is transferred by the blood, okay? So if it's transferred by the blood, guys, it's under what? Is it airborne, droplet, or contact? It's under contact precautions. So therefore, guys, if it's under contact precautions, okay? If it's under contact precautions, guys, you have to be very careful on managing your articles, okay? So therefore, contact preca precautions, guys, HIV. Wala akong tinta, okay? So, wala ko ng marker, okay? Ayan, thank you, Sir Glenn. Okay, so most likely, this is bloodborne under your contact precautions. So therefore, guys, if that is the case, we have to understand. The key word is prevent the transmission. Again, HIV is transferred via the blood. Hindi po nakakuha ng HIV sa laway. So therefore, you can kiss but you can't get HIV. But you can get STD from kissing. Okay? Hindi rin po nakakuha ang HIV sa isda. Bakit? Binuntis ka ba ng isda? So it's not about the fish. So you get HIV because of your bloodborne disorders. Now, let's understand. I'll, uh, I posted this question in the Instagram account. So if you would, uh, you would check it. First, wear a surgical mask. Surgical mask, as I've used a while ago, this surgical mask is protecting you against infections under the droplet precautions. So therefore guys, droplet precautions, that's your surgical mask. Examples of which will be what? Meningitis, pneumonia, flu, diphtheria, pertussis. So therefore, wearing surgical mask will protect you against droplet transfers but not against HIV. So therefore guys, that is under HIV is under contact or bloodborne. Next, wear a gown. Gown is under contact precautions. So therefore, guys, this option is correct. Number three, close the door at all times. 
Now remember guys, you have to answer the question. Depende ang sagot sa tanong. Kung bakit ka mahala ka? At kung may papatay sa'yo, charot. Pero guys, most likely, if you answer this question, you were a bit confused. Remember, go back to the question. The question is about the transmission. How is it transferred? Not about the immunocompromised status of the patient with HIV. If you answer number three, your thinking was, okay, I have to isolate the HIV client to prevent infection. If that is your line of thinking, therefore, you did not answer the question. Remember, just answer the question. This option, close the door at all times, is for airborne and droplet transfers. Why? For example, tuberculosis is airborne. So therefore, it is a must that you have to close the door at all times. Next, pneumonia, meningitis is droplet. So most likely, guys, you have to close the door at all times so that you would prevent the transmission of the infection to other people. So this option is for airborne and droplet. Lastly, isolate in a positive pressure room. Isolation in a positive pressure room, guys, is significantly correct for patients who are immunocompromised status. With immunocompromised status, guys, this option, guys, is to prevent infection. Yes, HIV clients have immunocompromised status. But guys, the question is not about preventing the infection to HIV clients, but rather, the question is about the prevention, prevention of the transmission of HIV. So therefore, number three and number four, is not related to the question. Therefore, the answer goes to number two. Why? Because gown is part of the personal protective equipment under contact precaution so that you will prevent the transmission of HIV. So that is the answer for this question. And I will have another question that will be rational and that will be select other the fly. Okay? I'll transfer on the other side. So guys, I'm back. Sunoy pat lang ang location for this question. So this question is select all that apply. Now, this question is about the significant health teaching for a patient with Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. So the keyword is Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. And this infection, guys, is transferred via ticks. So therefore, guys, if it's transferred via ticks, Therefore, it's under, again, contact precautions, okay? So we have to choose options that is applicable for health teaching with a patient with Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. Now, Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, guys, is very similar to your Lyme's disease. The precautions is just the same. Why? Because Lyme's and Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever is just transferred just the same via your ticks. Now, so I got it apply, okay? So, konting flex ko lang ng content, guys. Di siya ko lang, guys. Okay? So, number one, sit on furnitures upon arriving home. So, therefore, guys, if you came from outside and you're going inside your home with your outside clothes, technically speaking, guys, you're increasing the risk of transferring the infection because your clothes are infected, because your clothes are considered as articles. Okay? The keyword here is articles. Now, articles, guys, are everything that the patient uses. Your clothes, your beddings, your pillows. Therefore, guys, advice would be, do not sit on the furnitures. Rather, you go straight to the bathroom, change your clothes before sitting on furnitures so that you would prevent the transfer of the infection. Next. Two, wear surgical masks. As previously discussed, guys, surgical masks are used for droplet transfers. Okay, so number one is wrong, number two is wrong. Number three, use insect repellents. We know guys that insect repellents guys prevent also the transfer because we know that the, the, the infection is transferred by a ticks. Therefore, insect repellents are very, very much needed. Most importantly, if you're going to jungles or forests, that most likely will expose you to ticks. So therefore guys, insect repellents is correct. Now, number four, wash clothes in warm, hot water. 
Number four is correct. Why? Because washing your clothes with warm or hot water, guys, will most likely kill the possibility of the, of the ticks that can transfer the infection. So number four is correct because we're focusing again with articles. It's just like when you're buying clothes with in okay okay. So most like it's advice for you to wash it first in warm or hot water so that it will pre it will prevent the transmission of the infection that is possible in the clothes. So number four is correct. Number five, allow sharing of beddings. I've told you, beddings are articles. Therefore, guys, beddings are not allowed to be shared because if you're sharing the beddings, most likely, guys, you're also sharing the possibility of infection. So number five is wrong. Number six, use UV light for disinfection. Guys, UV light disinfection is only used for patients with airborne disorders. Okay? Airborne disorders. What are your airborne inf uh, disorders? It's MPV. Okay, you have your measles, PB, and varicella. Now, measles, PB, varicella are airborne. Now, if you're using a room, uh, if you're cleaning a room rather, that is used by a patient with airborne disorders, therefore, you will use your UV light disinfection using radiation. But guys, our question is Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. Therefore, it's not related because ultraviolet light is only used for airborne disorders. Therefore, guys, number six is also wrong. Making number three and number four the only correct answers. One, let's have a recap. Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, transferred by a ticks, very similar to Lyme's disease. Precautions, contact. Number one, sit on furnitures. Don't sit on furnitures. Go straight to the bath. Remove your clothing, your articles, most likely to prevent transfer of infection. One is wrong. Surgical mask number two is for droplet transfers. We're focusing on contact. Number three, insect repellent is correct. Why? Because it prevents the exposure to ticks. Number four, wash clothes in warm or hot water, guys. Why? Because if you're exposing it to warm, hot water, most likely you're killing the possibility of the ticks in your clothing. Okay? Lastly, uh, sorry, five, allow sharing of beddings. Do not share beddings because beddings are articles. It will transfer the infection. Number six, ultraviolet light, again, is correct, but for a question related to airborne disorders, examples of which will be measles, PB, and varicella. So making number five and six wrong, therefore, ultimately, the answer is only three and four. Thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. I hope it helped you in in relationship with questions about infection control don't worry guys there will be a lot of questions about infection infection control will be airborne droplet contact so most likely guys for this day for this uh, episode of this rash of vlog i'm focusing on contact precautions specifically your hiv and rocky mountain spotted fever thank you very much guys this again sir lian bubumbada paradas number one thank you very much guys and let's go see you on the next episode bye bye